Does royal icing need to be refrigerated? The answer is yes. That is why you will need to store it in the fridge. It is for meringue powder. Not only that, but also you can freeze it in a clean resealable freezer bag. Because of that, ensure to press all the air out. Does royal icing need to be refrigerated? For the most part, royal icing can last for approximately three days when you store it in the fridge. Although, it can indeed last longer than that. In addition to that, it is best to try to consume or use it within that period. Doing so guarantees the best results. If you had not used it by then, you would discover an unpleasant texture change in the royal icing. As mentioned, it would help to store it in the freeze to extend its shelf life to a month. Royal icing made with dried egg whites or meringue powder will last for weeks at room temperature. Ensure it stays at 20 to 22 degrees Celsius or 68 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Likewise, royal icing made with fresh egg white will last for two days at room temperature. What is royal icing? Remember that royal icing is the frosting you make from egg whites, flavorings, and confectioner's sugar. In addition to that, you can utilize it in numerous ways to decorate cakes and cookies. Keep in mind that it takes royal icing 6 to 8 hours to dry entirely. Because of that, ensure to pipe or spread it onto the cookies once you flood. Afterward, let them stand at room temperature. Although, royal icing will begin to dry mid-use. That is why it would help to be a lot more careful. Moreover, keep the royal icing covered with a damp cloth. Make sure to do this while you work. Not only that, but also it stops hardening while you decorate. In addition to that, ensure to stir it from time to time. Besides, you can always add one or two drops of water to recover the aspired consistency. Furthermore, royal icing decorations are indeed edible, it is meringue powder and sugar. Because of that, it is delectable if you love the flavor of pure icing sugar. Not only that, but also it pairs perfectly with cookies. With that, it dries reasonably hard. However, there is no denying the sensation, it has a crunchy yet soft texture. You should know that royal icing and buttercream frosting differ in many ways. In that regard, royal icing hardens to develop a candy-like consistency. On the other hand, buttercream frosting is soft and creamy. How to store royal icing? Again, royal icing is best when refrigerated. Also, ceramic or glass is the most excellent type of container. Then, lightly press a piece of parchment, plastic wrap, wax paper, or damp paper towel. Make sure to place it over the surface of the icing to cover it entirely. After that, ensure to cover the container tightly with a lid. Regarding decorations, once the royal icing has dried, it will last for a long time. However, it would be best to store them in a dry location. In addition to that, ensure to put them in an airtight container in the fridge. Doing so will prevent them from spoiling. Additionally, you should monitor for breakage aside from humidity. Keep in mind that royal icing is delicate. That is why it is best to store it between bubble wrap and parchment paper. Again, store it in a sealed container. Also, bear in mind that buttercream grease can affect the royal icing in the long run. Although, it will take time for the icing to absorb the grease or oil. Furthermore, before you use the royal icing, make sure it beat it well. With that, be sure to do it in a mixing bowl at low speed. Besides, if you choose not to use the royal icing within two weeks, there is a good option. In that regard, you can pipe out the decorations. In addition to that, make sure to let them harden. For that reason, you can store hardened royal icing decorations in a covered and non-airtight container. For example, you can store it in a cake box. In so doing, they are beneficial to keep for future cakes. Storing royal icing in a piping bag. The only time you should be storing royal icing in a piping bag is when using it. For that reason, it is essential to keep icing bags correctly. Besides that, make sure they remain to flow since you want to pipe with them easily. Because of this, it applies when utilizing various colored icing. Moreover, it would help to put a damp paper towel in the bowl's bottom and put the bags with the tips down. As a result, it is making contact with the wet towel. 
In that regard, it will ensure that the royal icing will flow. Not only that, but also it prevents it from clogging up. Make sure to do this when you want to change piping bags. And most importantly, ensure the towel is not overly wet throughout the time you are piping. Royal Icing Tips By adding water or lemon juice, you can thin royal icing. In addition to that, you can thicken it by adding confectioner's sugar. Moreover, it would help to add confectioner's sugar. With that, make sure to put half a teaspoon at a time. After that, blend thoroughly. Be sure to do that before you choose to put more. Besides, a couple of drops of food coloring will saturate the royal icing. In that regard, you can select any color you prefer. Also, it would help to take note that the food coloring will darken as the royal icing dries. Furthermore, you can always utilize a thinner. With that, it is a spreadable royal icing for flooding cookies. Additionally, the royal icing is for making rosettes and piping lines. After freezing your royal icing, never forget to thaw it at room temperature, especially when ready to use it. If you liked this video don't forget to like and subscribe.